The London Millennium Footbridge, to give its full name, opened in June 2000 to celebrate the Millennium. Two days after it opened, it closed due to the crossing pedestrians causing the bridge to sway. In 2002, the bridge reopened with the wobble removed. The structure is a suspension bridge, but with the cables to the side of the deck, not above. This is so it did not exceed the height restrictions of the area. During strong winds in January 2007, the bridge was temporarily closed due to the risk of pedestrians being blown off the bridge. Unknown to most of its users, the bridge is located next to the only funicular railway in London. What a fantastic bridge! The suspension design requires only two piers, whilst placing the chains to the side allows the bridge to make a minimal impact on the riverscape. Oscillations caused by people walking grew in magnitude as people fell into step with it, forcing the closure of the bridge. Designers Arup fixed the problems by installing large dampers and also conducted extensive research into the phenomenon. The bridge has achieved worldwide fame, and rightly so, for you would struggle to find a more significant footbridge on this planet. The Nellian Bridge is unusual. Unlike other suspension bridges, the side cables give the structure a low and shallow profile. This gives the crossing tourists an undisturbed view of London and helps the bridge blend in with its surroundings. I like this because the bridge has not tried to outdo the landmarks around it. It simply stands as a platform to view them from. The Millennium Bridge was open for good in 2002. The width of the river at this point is 249 metres. And the clearance is 12.4 metres. There are two piers in the water making three spans. 24,000 people cross this bridge every day. What do you think of this bridge? Rate it by clicking on the link in the description. And you will contribute to the popularity rating of the trump card. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.